Okay, everybody, this video is going to show you how your brain works and the average brain works, okay? And then I'm going to break it down into three different subjects, which is the spiritual way, which is the Buddhist way, and then the scientific way, and as well as the physics way, okay? Um, when we say the, science, the spiritual way, it means Buddhism. And we, for those of you who don't know, Buddhism is not a religion, okay? Um, just because your parents go to temple or you know someone that goes to temple doesn't mean they're Buddhist, okay? Buddhism is practicing Buddhism. And that means um, mindfulness, being here, being now, and all that jazz and how that applies to making decisions in life. Um, then we're going to get into how Bob Proctor talks about you know, cosmic energy and how to amplify cosmic energy. Okay, and that's more of the scientific way because it's more of the American way of looking at things. Then we have uh, the physics way, which is what Elon talks about, first principles reasoning, first principles theory, which is the physics way of thinking. And this is how he built three companies that's worth over a billion dollars. And as well as the other two company that he's currently working on, which is Hyperloop and the Boring Company. And I'm sure those will s surpass a billion dollars. That means he'll have five companies that's going to be worth over a billion dollars each. So let's try dive straight into it, okay? Um, I'm going to talk about the brain first. We're going to say that's the brain right there, okay? I'm no artist. We're going to divide this brain in half right now. Even though there's more parts to a brain, we're going to use just two concepts today to break down how your brain works. On the left side is the new brain. And in the right side here is the old brain. Okay. Called the old paradigm. Which is what Bob Proctor talks about. Okay. The old paradigm, consciousness, subconsciousness, anyways, so, brain, we get everything up here, okay, now, um, I came across an epiphany just being mindful, practicing mindfulness. And I remember sitting down and thinking, okay, I'm trying to solve a problem. I'm sitting and thinking, and I couldn't come with a solution. I'll explain why. I came to realize why. It's because we were thinking with the old brain, which is the old paradigm, which is the social and the preconditioned brain on this side here. Okay. The moment I stopped thinking, an epiphany happened. An idea arose from my brain, which is what we call cosmic energy. This is what Bob Proctor talks about. Okay, the scientific form, that scientific point of point of view right now. And an, an idea arose, which is called cosmic energy. We're apparently the only brains that can do this in this world. Is our brain can create an idea. All the other mammals in this world and bugs and insects can't do this. They can't come out with an idea and then execute on the idea. Okay. I don't want to go too far yet. So an idea arose. Let's draw a light bulb. All right. And I caught myself realizing that the idea came from the consciousness, not from the subconsciousness. Now remember, it's very, it's very different using the subconscious brain. It's everything your parents taught you, school has taught you, the books you've read, all that stuff. Okay, It's the old subconscious brain. It's stuff that people have been using to solve problems. Meaning, how do I do this? Well, I know that other people have done it this way, so I'm going to do it that way. And, and it's not that it's a bad thing, it's just the way the brain is wired, right? So, to give you a theory of the first principles theory, let me see if I can see this here. All right, right here. First principles theory, or also known as reasoning, okay? This is, this is how Elon thinks here. And, I'll, and I'll, I'm going to tie these three things in at the end of the night, okay? 
So an idea arose and I was like, oh wow, that's such a great idea. How come I didn't think about this? You know how they say K-I-S-S, -S, keep it simple, stupid, right? That's because of this part here, I'm gonna explain, okay? I was like, oh, I didn't think about that. Well, why? And so I backtracked all the thoughts that I was thinking and I was like, I realized that the new idea formed in the current moment of the current situation. And why? Because your brain is actually a survival organ. It's designed to keep you alive, okay? So when we think with the new brain, meaning we don't consciously do it because we have to realize we're doing it, most of the time when we're sitting and thinking, the old brain is doing the, doing the work for us. We're trying to access all these neural pathways in our head of like the old brain and, and it doesn't get us anywhere. And, or we do it what, how everyone has been doing it. And I'm gonna tell you some stories later on. So I sat for about 20 minutes. I couldn't figure out a reason, a way to come out to solve a problem. But when the idea rose, the new brain solved the problem. And that's in the now. And that's where everybody's ideas in this world actually happens. But the problem is the school system hasn't taught you to execute and how to get your new idea, your new brain out. We have so many people that goes, I have a great idea, I have a great idea, I have a great idea, but no way to execute it because we've never been taught to execute. That's the biggest problem in this world today. I, I believe that. Okay, I, I know it in myself. That's a challenge I face every day, but I'm learning to get over it. So how does this tie into first principles reasoning, okay? Which is what Elon uses, okay? And I, I, I heard a video of him the other day uh, saying, you know, what first principles reasoning and how it works for him. And somebody asked him, well, can you give us an example of how first principles reasoning helped you? He goes, okay, for example, he says, Elon says, um, many people told me that when I was starting Tesla, many people have told me that, um, Battery packs are expensive. It's always been that way, so it's gonna continue being that way. So Elon goes, well, that's kind of a th dumb thing to say because just because it's always been that way doesn't mean it's, it has to be that way, okay? So, so first principle is reasoning is breaking down to the fundamental truth and then reasoning up from there, okay? So this is what his thought process and how his brain works, okay? He says, okay, well, let's figure out what goes into a battery. You know, a little, little Duracell battery, a little Energizer battery, what's in it? So he, he goes, okay, well, it's, it's all these different materials. It's, it's just a, a few raw components, which is a different types of coppers and, and metals and, and, you know, things in that nature is raw material. And he goes, well, how do you take those raw materials and create it into a cylinder shape, which is a battery size now? So therefore, it cuts the cost, right? So that's where he started building the Giga Factory because he's like, well, battery is so much cheaper than how any manufacturer has quoted me, so I'm gonna build my own batteries. Therefore, Giga Factory was born, okay? So how does that correlate with your current brain right now, okay? Here it goes. The new brain is first principles reasoning, okay? It's thinking in and out, right? Buddhism's always say, be here, be now, be present. Don't think in the future, don't think in the past, right? It's okay to visit your memory bank, but don't be there too long, which is what I've been doing, thinking with the old memory, with the memory bank, which is the subconscious brain, the memory bank. The memory bank, okay? Memory bank is where all this old information is stored, okay? We, we visit that part of our brain, not knowing it, to try to solve problems doesn't work. Or you end up doing it the same way everyone has been doing it, okay? So the first principles theory actually ties into the new brain. But the problem is what? We don't know how to execute it. So therefore, we 90, 98% of the great ideas, where do they end up, they say? In the graveyard, right? So how do you, how do we stop thinking the old with the old? brain here, okay, which is the magnificent part. It's being mindful, okay, and, and mindfulness is, is not an easy thing to get. The theory of it is easy to understand, but the practice of it is very tough. It took me about a year to understand mindfulness before my Buddhist mentor decided to teach me more 
Because he says, if you practice, if I teach you this and you don't get it and I teach you other things, you're going to practice it the wrong way and you're going to hurt yourself. And I never understood why until now. It's been six years now. But me be li listening to so many different interviews and, and, and re you know, different, different audiobooks and podcasts, it formed this three perspective here and how they correlate with each other. It's taking the new brain constantly by using first principles reasoning, okay, and stop using the old brain. Does it make sense in any way? I hope it does, you know. Um, and some stories I'm gonna tell you about one of my business partner. He says, you know, I'm gonna go to London and I'm gonna go take this course for, you know, fragrance courses. And I told him, stop there. I said, don't, I said, don't go. I said, if you want to come out with a impressive product, if you want to come out with a product that no one has ever come out with before, don't learn what they, how they've been doing it. I said, you should have this pristine awareness, this clear slate of mind, okay, which is, comes from the spiritual side. I'm, I'm speaking to the spiritual side now. Don't do what people have been doing. That means don't go take the classes. Don't go to the school system. Don't do any of that. You gotta teach yourself new things. And this is how you allow a new perspective and a new idea or a new product to, f to, to be created in, in any industry, okay? Uh, because everybody that has been in the same industry, they're, they're doing it the same way, they're copying each other, all right? Everyone's copying each other. It's the same fucking thing. It's like, it doesn't work. Okay, so my point is, it's like, stop. It's, it's good to learn uh, uh, theory, theoretical things, but it's more important to be mindful of how your brain works right now. Right now, the whole point is to understand what loop your brain is getting into, right? It's, it's knowing, hey, I'm going, I'm, I'm constantly visiting this old brain. Why am I frustrated? Why can't I solve my own problems? It's because I'm using the old brain. It could be everything from how you wake up in the morning, how you eat, the most finite micro things you do. Like right now, I'm making this video. I'm using a whiteboard because my paradigm has taught me to do that, right? It's the old brain of doing something. Or kind of the new way maybe because I'm using video now to... to spread the message that's arguable my point is if you want to sit and and formulate new ideas in this world to get in cutting edge it's number one starting with your brain understanding how your brain works which is what i kind of explained right here the no the, the, the consciousness and the subconsciousness okay um being mindful in this aspect and using first principles reasoning, you know, which is what I told you, the battery concept of how he thinks. If you can sit quietly and meditate and, and, and think, okay, how do I break down what project I'm about to do next and how would I do it? How would I do it? Not how I've been taught to do it, which is the old brain, right? So, I hope this video helps you guys somehow in some way. Um, I'm, I'm, I, I, wanna f I want to create a community in this space right now to understand this, okay? Now, I didn't draw much on here, but it's more storytelling. But the cosmic energy was something a little bit different. I'm going to continue on this. But I really wanted to make the point of how your brain works today here, okay? So... I need you guys to comment and tell me what your theories are and how what your perspectives are because this is just my perspective right now and my my the way my brain caught um, how my brain works and now how I'm gonna start applying this perspective this physics way of thinking the first principles reasoning so that I can continue to get the current solution to the current problem and not utilizing the old brain. Because if you gotta remember, let's just say 50 years, the battery industry has been around. 
and everybody the last the last 50 years has been saying it's expensive and Elon had to use first principles reasoning to be like well that's stupid that doesn't mean that just because the last 50 years is expensive it's still going to be expensive and then tomorrow's going to be expensive no how do we make it cheaper right sounds simple but how do you take this perspective now and apply it to the most micro finite whether it's disrupting your daily pattern to your business to your happiness to whatever it may be okay so remember first principles reasoning creates the current solution to the current problem not utilizing the old brain to create to solve current problems so comment below please let me know what you guys all think in fact why don't you comment on how you, you what your perspectives are okay and and also comment how this video be mindful of how this video actually helps connect your neurons in your brain and and what aha moments you've come across that's a wrap you guys have a great night